Uh, we are here uh, with uh, Rob Murphy in uh, Saxon Woodwin and Brass in Sydney, Australia. And you've been, Rob, you've been uh, selling these uh, Ergobras uh, supports for quite some time. For a number of years now. Yeah. And what are your experiences? Um, I, have, I have to be really honest. And I think like most um, musicians initially, I was very skeptical of, of the product. And I thought that... Um, you know, having played and carried and played in the army and um, carried my instrument around, that who needs the support for playing um, when we can just toughen up and, and, and get on with the job. And it wasn't until I actually took the product and put it on an instrument and played with the, um, the euphonium support that I found it completely took all the stress away from my body and allowed me to actually um, be able to manipulate the instrument um, with, with with my right hand with no weight on it um, and, and all of a sudden I, I had a much more dexterity over the instrument um, and, and more to the point I think that um, over time what I realized was that if maybe I'd used such a device from the work from from day one when I started playing that maybe I wouldn't have had certain issues and problems strain tensions develop within my body so for example holding a euphonium creates a lot of pressure down on the thumb and that creates um, uh, tension up to the arm and up through the side of the neck and by using um, something like the ergo brass here once fitted all of a sudden that didn't exist anymore so um, the problems I had over the years I may not have had if I'd used such a product. But many players have still hesitation. Uh, how can you convince them that uh, they should try? And Well, simply you have to try. And it's as simple as that because for a non-believer or anyone who's slightly sceptical about such a support product, until you actually put it on and try it, you know, if you have... If you, if you haven't eaten pavlova, you're never going to know what pavlova tastes like, you know. <laughs>